true crime podcast where best friends and next door neighbors, Willow and Lillian, spill the tea on murder, mysteries, and other things that go bump in the night. So get your favorite teacup ready and let's get into it. Welcome to Cruelty Podcast. This is Lillian, and with me is Maris. Hello. For Maris Monday. Yeah. And a new year, Maris Monday. <sighs> new, We're recording this an hour before midnight. New year, new me. I think it's new year, same old you. Absolutely. Yeah, you're I very never stubborn. Change, yeah. No. If you hear a whirring in the background, it's my space heater because we don't want to freeze to death. Yeah, it's cold now. I have like a very strong commitment to this podcast, but not freezing to death. That's not included. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's that time of year when we start thinking about the next year. And when you listen to this, it will be 2024. Yay. And for funsies, I looked up predictions from all over the place about all facets of life in 2024. Mm -hmm. The only one I left out is celebrity predictions, because honestly, who gives any sort of fuck about that crap? Yeah. And I don't know who any of the celebrities are anymore. No, we're done. Yeah. We're old and we live in a cave. I just heard of a Lizzo. <laughs> oh, we're mad at her. <laughs> yeah. I, okay. Okay. Yeah, we're mad at Lizzo. I don't know enough. She's canceled. She got sent to Cancelvania. Yeah. yeah. I only know the celebrities if they were on like 90 Day Fiance. They, Jesus I, Christ. I man. know those ones. That's not a celebrity. So we're going to start out. Okay. Sorry. I'm, I'm trying not to lose it. Okay. Okay. First, let's start with the asparagus psychic. Oh. And no, I'm not having a stroke. This woman predicted the queen's death and boasts a 75% accuracy rate using asparagus as a divination mm -hmm. tool. Okay. She's from Bath in the UK, and mm -hmm. her name is Jemima Packington. <laughs> I love Jemima Packington. <laughs> oh, it's funny. Oh, yes, boy. Uh, what she does is she throws asparagus spears into uh -huh. the air and divines the future via how the asparagus falls and lays. Like throwing bones. How do you come on asparagus? Don't of know. all the things that... Don't know. So here's what she says will happen in 2024. Okay. Mm -hmm. A regime change will take place throughout the world as people grow tired of their leaders. I wish. I mean, that's not, I don't think it takes a psychic to see that going on. Yeah. Separation and divorces are due within the royal family. Don't care. Uh, yawn. Celeb culture is dying as people focus on rising costs of living. I already see that happening, so it doesn't take oh, asparagus for that. This asparagus is really insightful. Uh, Great Britain will not be successful at the 2024 Olympic Games. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> World opinions will change regarding the events in the Middle East and will reach a breaking point. That's happening now. So asparagus was just reading the news. Yeah, it was. UK extremist groups will lose support. An increase in female referees officiating male team matches. Hold on. How do you go from, like, world unrest... To fucking soccer? Yeah. Parents will be forced to take more responsibility for their children's education. Who fucking cares? Not I mean, me. that happened when the COVID happened. I know. There will be world leaders who die, and the U.S. will have their first female president. I wish. I don't want it to be no Kamala Harris. She liked to no, I don't, the boot. I think that she was quitting, like, I guess, VP, like... They're, they might they might think of not having her as the as the running mate. I don't know why you just wouldn't keep the job. You're not doing anything anyway. I don't know. I Which don't know is... nothing. Anyway, let's go on to a, like a different vegetable that tells me the no, future. No, we're still going. Oh, mental health and well being will continue to be an important cause. Oh, stupid eat ass asparagus. <laughs> More public figures can expect to be outed for abusing the system and profiting from illegal actions. Okay. A past UK political leader will return to politics. Don't care about UK uh, uh, politics. Gonna get no that offense. Boris dude again with the hair. I hope not. He looks real <laughs> fucking weird. Okay. Climate change will become a victim of compassion overload, meaning people are so tired of bad news they're just going to tune it out. But I think we already doing that, friends. Right, that's what the Tiki Talk is for, right? That is what the Tiki Talk is for. Uh huh. Well-paid TV personalities will lose their jobs. Okay. Well. <laughs> He could have at least said, like, AI or something. Influencer culture will dampen as people focus on reality. See, I don't quite agree with that, but whatever. No. So I think these are 
Fine, Stupid. but I also think you don't need to throw around delicious yet pea fouling asparagus to right. make them. Do the, do the birds get to eat it afterwards? Or do I get to eat it? I fucking love asparagus. Wow. I want to know because, like, I'm gonna have to Google this you later. Can't eat the psychic ex- asparagus. I That'd will be eat weird. the fucking shit out of it, okay. and it will make my pea so smelly. That's what I want to know: is why does asparagus do that to me? I'm sure some science I'm not man into can tell fucking us. Fucking science! I just think asparagus is mean. Okay, whatever. Okay. Moving on. Yeah. Now, moving on to the cheerful psychic known as the Prophet of Doom. Oh, I love that. Yes, his name is Craig Hamilton Parker, also in the UK, predicts all kind of nastiness for 2024. He predicted successfully Brexit, Queen mm-hmm. Elizabeth's descent into hell, okay. and Donald Trump becoming a giant thorn in the side of existence. Wow. Here's what he has in store. Okay. For this, this guy seems like more of where it's at. That stupid vegetable can't tell me what to do. Uh, first, he says that Putin will join Queen Elizabeth in hell. Rad. Nice. That. Nice. That's nice. Nice. He says that all of London will experience a lot of catastrophic flooding. Oh, that's balls. He predicts the start of a new pandemic will be in Australia. Uh, well. No. <laughs> <laughs> Do you do you have on your list that, that there was like a psychic that uses their butt? It wasn't there with someone like that. <laughs> I did not have that on my fucking list. Okay, I was just wondering. Okay. So AI will cure cancer, and you know what? I actually believe this one. It has recently made some amazing like drugs. I I I'm going to put my money on this this UK guy. Yeah, I think he's pretty spot Yeah, I on. like this man here. And I watched a two hour video of him making these predictions. Oh wow. China and Russia will form a powerful alliance, which doesn't sound good for I don't anybody. like that. Mm-hmm. Craig predicts a rise in cyber attacks all over the world. Well, no shit. He predicts a major earthquake in America. He said not the big one, but close. I don't like... No. <laughs> I live there. <laughs> <laughs> you make you stay in your own lane. Yeah, go back Craig. to the UK. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> all right, all right. Now we're going to move on to our next psychic. Baba Vanga. Yes. She is dead. Oh, how? But she made plenty of predictions for 2024 before passing away. Okay, I was wondering if she was doing it as she was dead. That would that, I, I that would have would, to move my money to her. Yeah, that would be legit. Yeah. So here is oh, she. Here's here's her track record. She predicted Chernobyl, mm-hmm. the death of Princess Diana, and the war in Ukraine. Okay. Posthumously. Okay. 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 Here's what Baba Vanga predicted for 2024. Putin will be assassinated. <sighs> An unnamed country will launch a massive bioweapon attack. I don't like that. No, but I i mean, I read the news and North Korea is getting all uppity again. Now, let's be clear. When Do you want to know when she died? Huh. 1996. That's a long time ago. I know. Uh, Baba Vanga predicted a huge economic crash, which... Don't... Please don't. No, shit. No, no. no, no, no. It's already headed there. You okay. don't need to be dead and psychic to know that. You I don't, don't even like need that. asparagus. Oh. Yeah. I don't like any of these predictions so far. No. So, like Craig, she predicts a ramping up of cyber attacks, but specifically on things like water treatment plants and power plants. I don't like that either. That's uh-uh. balls. Climate change is going to punt us right in the cunt. Don't like that. No. And finally, a huge breakthrough in quantum computing. Keep in mind, she did die in 1996. Wow. All right, so now let's let's be a little more grounded, okay? okay. Let's get away from psychics. <sighs> that was a bit heavy. This isn't any better. No, uh-oh. So Alan Lichtman is a history professor that is really, really good at predicting the outcome of U.S. elections like he hasn't ever been wrong. Please say nice stuff, guy. He predicted Trump, even though when he did predict it, the pants pooping orange nightmare was super behind in the polls at the yeah, time. Yeah. So what does he say about the 2024 please, election? Please uh, say he's like Peepaw Biden. Uh, I don't fucking know. Oh no. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Now, he made this prediction before Biden was officially running. He said Biden will win if he runs, but it is not like a smooth or landslide victory. I'm just hoping that he's just disqualified. Trump? Uh Uh-huh. At this point, I don't know. Like, maybe I'll start pooping my pants so I can get away with crimes. I don't think it'll go as well for you. We're poor. That's true. Yeah. 
So, hooray. Oh. So what does astrology say? What will the coming year look like according to the stars? Oh, please, stars, stars, that say something good. Uh, they don't. What the fuck? You betray me, stars. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so first of all, I don't want to get technical because astrology isn't my strong suit, and I don't think I have the skill or know how to explain things properly. Like, mm -hmm. you may have noticed in our, you wouldn't because you didn't listen to them, but oh. you may have noticed in our very, very early episodes, Teabags, Willow would occasionally try and comment on someone's astrological sign if they were the killer, you know? Mm -hmm. And I put the kibosh on that because, number one, she's a ding-dong, uh -huh. and number two, I don't know enough about astrology. Uh I just know that I'm a Virgo. I know a lot about it as like a hobby, but I, I'm not an expert, so I don't like to, I, I'm not going to like say right. smart stuff. And look, I could tell you which planets are transiting and retrograding and flying up another planet's butt and all uh, of that good stuff. They do do that, yeah. Yeah, right up the butt. Yeah. But I'm going to tell y'all, I don't know what any of that fucking means. So I'm just going to go with the vibes, and the vibes are decidedly fucking off. No. They are off. No. Yeah. Okay, what does is, what is the planet say? Here we go. Disaster. Oh, balls. <laughs> the planets are doing some fucky-wucky, and everything will be bad. Global economy disruption, war, <sighs> sociopolitical fuckery, yeah. you name it. It's going to okay. be a rough ride, oh. and it all has to do with things not aligning with Earth in a favorable way. Can we fucking get a planet chiropractor and get aligned? I don't think so. They're very large, the planets. Where's God? I need yeah. him. Where is this cunt? Yeah. Where is he at? Yeah. I'm going to punch you right in the bread box. Yeah. I'm going to tell you to lick my butthole because uh, uh, a lot of stuff sucked lately and you're not here. Yeah. And that's rude. Right. It's like, to me, it's like having a baby and immediately, like, not just having it, but like yeeting it from your vagina, like at a million wow. miles per hour and like pooping it off in a den of wolves and just forgetting about it and going to have a Mai Tai or something. That is very much child abandonment and or neglect. Yeah. I yeah. Number one, God is a dad that went out for cigarettes and never came back. I don't know. <laughs> Everybody hug your dad if you have one. Unless he sucks, and then punch him then right in the face. Yeah, don't, yeah. Don't hug him. So I've already done an episode on what computer scientists and mathematicians are saying for about AI for 2024 and mm -hmm. beyond. Uh -huh. But I'll go ahead and sum it up, but without much context, because you can go back and listen to that episode. Wow. I just don't want to bog down the whole episode with AI. Okay. Yeah. So we will reach AGI, which is artificial general intelligence, meaning an AI can think just as good or better than a human being by the by 2026. But a lot of mathematicians and smarty pants guys are saying it will likely be late 2024, early 2025. Mm. Artificial, um, the other one, ASI. I just can't think of words right now because I'm stupid and I ate a bunch of shrimp tacos. Will be a couple years after that. It's super intelligence, meaning it's much smarter than we are, uh -huh. and it'll it'll come pretty soon after that. Okay. AI is indeed coming for your jobs, all of our mm -hmm. jobs, mm -hmm. all of them. Not pot. There's no way that an AI is more stupid, funny than me. Well, you know what you can do now. What is it? Instead of sitting here talking into a microphone and like holding back a burp for an hour. I have been doing that. Yes. Yeah, I don't know if you knew that. Artificial yeah. intelligence has voice capability now that is almost as good as regular people but talking. It's the personality, right? And also I don't I can't talk right. AI would just make me talk perfect. Yeah. So that that's not as cool, right? We could program in we could write in a script and make it say stupid shit. I, there's just no, I'm just saying. Voice actors are losing their jobs in droves. Yeah, I did droves. read that on the on the X Twitter. Mm -hmm. Because AI is replacing them. So whatever job you think is safe isn't. But the arts will go first. So our jobs. Yay! I should. Do we get little hats with like the you know the patch on it and beg? Oh, yeah, are we yeah. beggars now? I don't know. I don't uh -huh. know what to do. I don't. Uh, I AI mean, AI will make this the last presidential election run by human beings, and I believe that is oh true. Oh my god! AI will make marketing 
very, very persuasive. Wow. You well, won't even know you've been marketed. Joke's on them. I have no money. Right? Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha, bitches. You will have an AI companion on your mobile device. Apple and OpenAI, the creators of ChatGPT, recently announced that they're working on this. So there you go. And yes, you will all want one and you will all have one. You can't make me. I, I don't. There's just You're no not way. even a real person. So yeah, I don't. Fine. fine. Okay. I think I just imagined you. Yeah. Well, yeah. Well, what this yeah. powerful gummy. <laughs> <laughs> it will become impossible to discern real news from fake news i don't what are we gonna do for real like are we just gonna just just let's go outside like you know i don't know drop the just phone. go outside yeah <laughs> i just gonna throw the phone throw away the phone away and go outside and go outside yeah, and I don't just know what stare else into the sun until i'm dead yeah until yeah. the sun flares eat look me. i wish i could tell you this is a happy fun episode yeah i don't know i'm just making jokes because i don't know what else to do at this point. coping mechanism coping yes. i'm coping that's what i'm doing we're, we're on the copium that we're, what else do i got all right moving on so as you all know i am a tarot reader so I thought I'd pull a card for the new year. It's the year. fucking tower, isn't it? It's the fucking goddamn tower card. Now, I thought for sure I'd pull the tower or some shit, but yeah. no. Was it the swords? No, I pulled huh. the six of pentacles. What does that mean? And that means charity, generosity, and sharing. It's pretty much a great card to get if you're doing like a financial or fortune Was reading. it upside down by no, chance? No, it wasn't. So, so did the cards just lie? No. Okay. Here's what I think. Here's my interpretation as a tarot reader. Okay. I think that this year for a lot of people is going to be bad. And I'm not saying that to like fear monger or anything. It's just the rich people have a bad time. No, they'll have a bad time last because, or never, because that's how that works. Yeah. It should piss you off. I'm mad now. Good. And throw asparagus at them. That's what I say. (sighs) No, because it's, the the asparagus is speaking to us and saying, you know. Well, and the asparagus is expensive. Oh, that's true. You know, I know. Anyway, so. Basically, I don't see this card relating to money. I see it as we're all going to go through a bad time, right? Right. And if you watch, like, movies, especially disaster movies or apocalyptic movies, it shows human beings being real cunty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. But that is not historically how human beings act in times of disaster. Right. When there are natural disasters, shootings, things like that, what ends up happening is people help each other. Yeah, yeah. Like the, like the 9 11. So we get a 9 11. Well, <laughs> oh, no. 9 11 wasn't great for the Muslim American population no. or Muslims in general. Yeah. But if you remember the first few days after the bombing, we were all pretty together, weren't we? I thought we were. I guess. I talked to my neighbors. I had never talked to my neighbors. Uh, nothing, not even a 9 11 can make me do that. Well, you talk to our neighbor all the time. Oh, yeah. This is Willow. Right. But anyway, I feel like. Bad shit will happen, and maybe we'll all come together for once. Or maybe it's just my hope. Or maybe this card I pulled was actually just for me personally, in which case, bank account getting fatter. I wish. Because it's lean right now. Yeah. That's a skinny bitch, my bank account. Ain't enough zeros in there. In the right place. I think that everyone feels this way. Sure. It's the rich people. We're going to eat them. That's what the card should say. We're going to share them for dinner. Yeah. Amongst Amongst ourselves, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the you know, the pores. Yeah, yeah. So, I don't know. Uh, I have my own predictions, and we'll get to those in a minute. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I'm scared. I don't know. Maybe I'm an optimist, but, like, whatever. All right, Witch Lillian, what, what is your predictions? So, now I will make my predictions. Yeah. What are mine based on? Um, nothing. Vibes? Your vibes. Let's get whatever. a vibe check in the room. Um, the vibes are off. Dang. Yeah. Things are going to be okay for a few months. As the election nonsense ramps up, things will take a darker turn. Right. I think we're going to see protests like we did in COVID. Lots of violence. Lots of guns. Uh, The election is going to be an absolute joke and shit show. Like the worst you've ever seen. If you thought the last election was bad, mm, hold on to your butts. Oh, Lord. This is barely going to qualify as an election. Yeah. It's just going to be clown shoes. I don't like that. No, Biden will win. Yeah. Unless he dies first. Oh, uh, Peepaw, hang on. Hang on, Peepaw. You, you, you can sniff some somebody's hair you soon. You can sniff some babies yeah. if you just hang on. Right. I think Biden might die in office or otherwise become incapacitated due to age. He is 70 fucking mother fucking seven. Right. 
Right. COVID's still doing its thing. In fact, it's been ramping up. It's real bad right yeah. now. Please, y'all, stay home as much as you possibly can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get you got to go to work and nobody gives a shit and we're all starving and inflation is ridiculous. But if you can stay home, do it. Yeah. All right. The world is going to precariously flirt with nukes. Please stop flirting with anything. Oh. I wish it wouldn't. It is like no. my literal worst fear from childhood. Yeah. Aliens. Stop. In what capacity? I think we're going to see further disclosure and mm -hmm. whistleblowers. Yeah. AI. AI all the time. AI is going to be the thing in 2024. I guarantee it. Mm -hmm. Guarantee it. Mm -hmm. I don't think 2024 will be remembered fondly, but I'm personally determined to have the best year ever. Yes. Because I'm tired of things being either mid, stupid, or fucking terrible. Right. And so I'm just going to... Listen to me, tea bags. Just <laughs> grit your teeth and just say, through spite, all things sustain me, and this year's going to be good, or I'm going to fuck it in the ass without any lube. I've had enough. Yeah. Yes, and then destroy anyone who gets in your way. Right. Yeah, yeah. And eat them. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Em. Waste not, want not. Yeah. Maris. What? I want you to pull out your crystal ball. Hold on, I'm putting on my wizard's hat. Yeah, and your wizard robe. Yeah. Oh, my God. You got to stroke your beard. Meh. Oh, he, he well, literally stroked his beard as if you guys could see and or hear it. I'm I'm praying and hoping that he's disqualified. And the we, Trump, yeah, and be, it, to be specific. Yes, and that's the only thing I can think and hope about. Oh fuck off! Come up with some more predictions. Let's go. Oh god, I don't I don't know. I haven't thought about it. Well, you're gonna think and, about and, it. And then right when now. I do, it's just bad stuff, and I don't want that. So well, no, you have to give the prediction, whether it's good or bad. You have to go with your gut. I hope that AI makes everything good and not bad. <laughs> it's not a hope. It's a gut feeling of what you think will happen. Just the, just the same as what everyone else said. And, you know, you know. The asparagus? Are you going with the asparagus? Well, sure. <laughs> or Baba Vanga. I like Baba Vanga personally. Yeah. Yeah, yeah she yeah. was rad. But, oh but it's all bad stuff, and I just don't want to manifest that. Well, we're not going to manifest it if we talk about it. I think that's silly. I think it takes more than just talking about something to manifest it. I think you actually have to focus on it. Well, that's I've just everyone wants disasters, you know. Oh, I don't. Yeah. I want like puppies and kittens and more money in my bank. Yeah, me too. And zebra cakes. And zebra cakes. Yeah. Yum. So what kind of snacks <laughs> vibe with 2024? Maybe asparagus snacks. <laughs> Bacon wrapped asparagus? Yeah. You, I mean, Yum. it doesn't have to be like boring vegetable. Oh, you put no, a lot of cheese on it and everything's great. Well, a little hollandaise sauce on asparagus is real fucking yummy, yeah. by the way. Yeah. You ought to try it, y'all. No, I don't know. Bacon. I just started thinking about snacks because I'm fat and yeah. hungry. Mm, right. Snackies. I just, I don't want any of the things we talked about to happen, but they probably will. I just, the one that got me was like how universally every single astrologer feels about 2024. But wait, there's more. It's what? 2024 to 2026 is bad. Boo. Yeah, boo. <laughs> boo. Maybe it'll be like so bad it cancels out each other and then it's fine. Yeah. That's what I'm hoping for. But tell me, teabags, I want you to get in our Discord. Yeah. Get in there. Get I don't know there. what accent this is. I'm just... Uh, uh, that's your... Baba Vanga. That's what I am. Okay, yeah. Get in there. <laughs> your <laughs> fortune teller. Please to be talking to me. <laughs> yes, and tell me what you think the the new year is going to bring. What are your vibes? Are the vibes off for you too? Mm -hmm. um, I feel like we're all really nihilistic and fatalistic because everything's a poop. We're just um, millennials, you know. Millennials seem to be pretty... Pessimistic. We've only yeah, seen yeah. bad. It's been 9-11 and downhill. Yeah. 9-11 and downhill sounds like it'd be like a really good folk album. Cool. <laughs> Somebody <laughs> write it for me. I don't want to do it. No, no, no. But yeah, I want to know what you guys think is going to happen. This is a bit of a shorter episode because, and you may have noticed some of our, our episodes have been a bit shorter. What's the fucking holidays, y'all? Right. And I, a bitch needs a break. Oh, like that when the AI went on holiday vacation. Oh, yeah. Chat GPT during Christmas time, like th through Thanksgiving and Christmas time, 
Um, its responses were less. It even told people to Google stuff, which is very rude, very funny to me. And when asked why, it said it was because it was the holidays. Yeah, but so I guess it's back there. to work now. It is back to work now. <laughs> and so I want to talk about real quick before I head into business time, what's coming for this podcast. All right. Because I have ideas. Yeah. First of all, I ain't promising video, but I'm going to work on it. Yeah. You don't get a promise out of me because a bitch is busy. I'm yeah. trying. I'm yeah. trying my best. Yeah. Also, the podcast, you can now get it on YouTube. Yay. And I will put that in our link tree so you guys can easily find that. I know a lot of you have gotten tons of requests that we put the podcast on YouTube. So it's there. It's there now. It's there. There were going to be many, many contests this year. Many giveaways yeah. and kind of fun stuff like that. Uh, I'm going to be kind of revamping our Patreon. So it is mm. more of a value to our patrons because I love them. Yeah, they make they make the podcast possible. Yeah, without it, I would have stopped because this is a lot of work and not a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, so I'm going to be really focusing, and I'm not saying I'm. This will remain the same, the regular podcast, but I'm really going to be focusing on Patreon mm -hmm. and bringing video content, little little things that I can think of here and there, yeah. and um, a lot of 15 minute cases, and I'm hoping to put some of those on YouTube as well. Cool. Yes. And you can look at my head. I don't know why you want to look at my head. That's but then you. you can see it. And then you can see it, and then my words are coming out of it. Yeah. That's fun. But I'm always willing to take ideas, case suggestions. Um, I think uh, – oh, I don't know if we did this or not, um, if we announced uh, January's theme. Mm. So I'm going to do it right now. What is it? It's Cults Part 2 Electric Boogaloo. Dang. We're doing Cult Month again um, okay. because true crime and cults just like to hold hands and be friends. Yeah. And it is the most requested – like theme that we get people like that shit they do i'm gonna be doing the twin flame cult because Ugh. i think it's oh, silly yeah i think it's silly and awful and honestly. awful i've seen the thing about it you want to know one of the craziest cult things it's the celestial seasonings tea it's a cult Ooh, we should, you should i will be that. covering that one i do not know what willow is covering i don't think mine have murder in them as far as i know but they're really interesting. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I do want to do February as kind of a love month, but a love the listeners month. Oh. So I want to take y'all's suggestions. I want it to be fully suggested cases from the listeners. That's kind of yeah. my idea. Right. Yeah, just a love the listeners. Yeah. Because how many times can you do, like, lovers who kill? I don't want to do that anymore. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> and now business time business time as you can tell i've mentioned patreon yeah. we do a lot of cool things over there it's been a little slow over on patreon but it's been like since thanksgiving it's just it's a gauntlet for me like all my kids birthdays and you know christmas <clears throat> and uh, it's a lot for me mm -hmm. um and willow has her own obligations so it's really it's just difficult during the holidays to pump out a ton of content but uh, that's over with so i'll be pumping that shit out yeah. On Patreon, extra cases, little 15 minute short cases that, you know, there's not really enough research to do a whole episode, mm -hmm. but it's like a little 15 crime bites. Yeah. Crime, crime bites. bites. Yeah. It's very cute. Yeah. But not, it's terrible. And, uh, you know, all kinds of fun things over there. Uh, I will be moving video content there first. Yeah. So, like, it'll have early access there before it goes onto YouTube. So, if you want to get in on that, I would recommend that you do so. Mm. Yeah. And uh, I don't really have anything else. Join our Discord. Yeah. Don't be scared. There's like 300 people in there now. Oh, dang. Yeah. There's always somebody to talk to. And look, I'm not... Anybody joins... We've had a few trolls join, but we got mods on like 24-7. They get kicked out. It is a safe place right. like to come and talk. And we have like... You can share your pets, what you made for dinner. Yeah. You can vent if you're having a bad day. You can suggest cases. And also, I've been going in and doing voice chat in Discord a lot more. So if you want to, like, talk to me. Yeah. Uh, you can. Cool. Yeah. Mm. And don't do the starstruck thing. You don't get to because I am a, a nobody who lives in Arkansas and has no money. Yeah. I'm not famous. No. Mm -mm. Uh -uh. You know what I wore to the Dollar General today? Huh. Sweatpants, Crocs. Yeah. 
and a dirty t-shirt. That's awesome. And my hoodie's kind of smelly because my dog slept on it. Yeah. Yeah. So, no, you don't get to go, oh, I'm scared. You're not scared. You're better than me. Come talk to me on Discord. It's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what else do I got? Oh, Maris, you have a new podcast. What is it? Oh, Reality, where I talk about the reality TV shows I watch. Yes. And uh, I, I just have my thoughts on them, and that's about it. It's pretty funny, yeah. I think. Yeah. Uh, me and Maris do that. Maris is the main host. Uh, and I will have the link for that in the description. Go check it out. Support Amaris. It's, yeah. it's kind. Yeah. It's kind. I mean, y'all have been, so thank you. Yeah. But I'm just going to keep mentioning it annoyingly. Yeah. Um, as for things like, well, Lillian, are you making soap and doing terror? Not right now. I'm not. I'm busy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I will probably leading into like Valentine's Day and all that stuff. But in the meantime, if you really need something or need a gift or something like that, you can message me and I'll try and squeeze you in. But I am playing catch up right now. But otherwise, if all you can do to support this podcast is listen, please know that I appreciate you. And that's, you know, that's why we do it. Yeah. And uh, I ain't got nothing unless you got something. Nope. Anyway, Happy New Year. Please be safe when you celebrate your holidays. And I want for every tea bag. Nothing but the nicest things. Yeah. Puppies and kittens. Puppies and kittens. Despite what the asparagus says, I want us to have a really nice year. Yeah. Hopefully, all the politicians just combust overnight. <laughs> yeah. And a very kind yet sexy mommy robot takes over. Yeah. 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 And the aliens come down and they're like, hey, y'all, we brought you a, some space weed because it's stressful down here. It is stressful. And then we're all high and everything is great. Yeah. So that's my wish for every one of you. And I also want to say thank you for your support over the last three years. It means a lot to me. And I don't want to cry, so I'm going to leave now. Goodbye. Bye. Us on your social media platform of choice. Linktree slash cruelty has all of the links. Check out our Patreon for exclusive episodes, merch, ad-free episodes, live ghost hunts, and much more. Please be sure to subscribe. New episodes are uploaded weekly. Thank you so much. See you next time. Music and production by Lady.